Boom, and we back again. Uh, this is the first time I ever was consistent with this shit. And yeah, bro, I'm really about to try getting this podcast life. Uh, since it is smoked out sessions, I went and ran out to uh, Zen Gardens over here in Stockton, California. Got me some pre rolls. I was such not a fan of these at all, whatso the fuck ever. I was like, yo, this shit's whack. Why am I pacing? I can roll the best joints and blunts and shit every. Honestly, that shit is. If you got the money, fucking buy pre rolls. That shit is fire as fuck. Um, I got this one because I had a Cali Bear on it. It's funny going there. I don't like fucking. Uh, lines and shit like man so many old people in line trying to buy weed man asking all the fucking questions like bro you the google exists bro we got fucking a bunch of google fucking thing hey google tell me about weed it can go on for hours bro but anyway look at this thing bro 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 my finger bro bro this is this is perfection they smoke very well uh so let's go ahead and get into it um yeah, so that was about the weed. Like I said, Zen Gardens hit him up. I think I need to get it. Don't you hate that as a stoner? It's like, where's my lighter? Where's my lighter, bro? All right, so I got me a lighter. This <laughs> is lit. Fucking corny as fuck, bro. But anyway. Perfection. It's perfection. I mean, I, I couldn't do it better myself, honestly. So... Anyway, this is good, bro. This is really good weed. And it's, it's fucking it's perfect. It's wah. Fucking tastes good as fuck, bro. We gotta shout these niggas out again. <coughs> what is this shit? Yo, go get that shit. So, anyway, this is Week with Music, the podcast about Stockton music. Um,. The only thing I really saw this week uh, was Steve Spiffler, uh, DJ Kenzo, and Don Quez. They went ahead and put out a video for the remix to, uh, uh, what was that shit? I can't even remember, but they did a remix. Go check that shit out. Video was pretty simple, but it had some cool edits in it. It was very nice look for Stockton. I saw these niggas over at like Bank of America and some shit. This shit was real, nigga. But that was real cool. There's a show coming up at Vox Pop, February 8th. Go check that out, a lot of DJs. Um, as far as Rebel Activity goes, uh, the, yesterday got fucked up for the first time in a while with those guys because they were doing sober. We were, we all were doing sober, but uh, I'm a punk bitch. I couldn't go sober the whole month. Uh, I got problems. But anyway, uh, we all came together, shot a video for Drew. Yuck, nasty, my bad. Um, and it was cool. It was more like a promo video. Um, and then I sent my tracks for my mixtape over to Drew. That shit was so... Hopefully that gets done here sooner, nor more later or whatever. And then we'll have some, you know, more entertainment, some more shit for you guys, some more content. Um, I heard Mad Spill is doing, probably releasing a side B to his project. Y'all gotta check him out. He's definitely on my Instagram. Uh, so yeah, Mad Spill. I liked um, his project a lot. It was very, uh, especially like the middle part that uh, the feature he had with Big Z on it. But yeah, his project came out this month. So did so a lot of good projects came out this month. It was uh, we had Abby James, we had Mad Spill, Serious Post, Serious Detroit. His projects on SoundCloud. But go ahead and check his project out uh, on iTunes and stuff coming out here shortly on all platforms. I guess he had some problems with that. I asked him about it. Um, but yeah, that Steve Spiffler, Don Quez, and DJ Kenzo, they went ahead and uh, put that video out for that remix track. I was like, Dude, what's that fucking? It was like a Migos song or some shit, bro. I can't even fucking remember. But, uh... So just bringing it back around. So today is Super Bowl Sunday. I don't care what y'all say. I mean, I love football. I do fantasy. I'm the champ of 016, yes. Not this year or the year before, but you know what I mean? But And Joe, I forgot to send you the belt. Uh, I still uh, I forgot to send the belt. Bro, and I look good, bro. Side note, bro. I can't be looking at myself in the, in the fucking video. But anyway, nigga, um, yeah. Uh, football, football Sunday. My dad's in there making gumbo. You know, some people ain't showing up. It's all good. Mo, gumbo for me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, but shout out to my dad, Big Darkness. You know what I mean? Um, cooking the gumbo. 
Uh, I'm a Rams fan. Uh, and Rams get to get their motherfucking... Rams get to get their motherfucking revenge. That's the one thing about anything. I, if you know me, I mean, I, I'm, I'm fucking... I'm petty all day, bro. But I'm, I'm very petty. Bro, 2002. I was a little kid. Second Super Bowl the fucking Rams been to, bro. And I see them, bro. And they lost to who? None other but Tom Brady. Tom Brady. And now it's come full circle, bro. 15 fucking, or eight, well, I'm in 16, 16 years, bro. I've been waiting 16 years for this shit. See, you know, I love Tom Brady, but not today. Not today. I ain't fucking with that nigga today, bro. But yeah, I mean, I can't wait. It should be very exciting. Uh, and But to bring it all back to music, there's a lot of controversy with, you know, people performing at the Super Bowl and everything like that. Um, and I think that was just so weird, you know what I mean? I really think it's weird, bro. Like, that's a great stage. I mean, oh, this is a biased opinion. I like, understand, you know what I mean? I mean, I have uh, families who... I have, I have, my parents worked in the correctional facility, so it's very weird, you know, when people talk about police brutality. Not saying... I mean, because I know good cops and I know bad cops. My dad and family tell me stories. And then also, I love football, so it's like, bro, I'm still going to watch the fucking foot So, like, the Super Bowl, bro. Like, especially with the Rams, like, nigga, maybe next year. But anyway, uh, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, uh, I have empathy to that situation. But at the same time, bro, that's a great stage. And some people's dream, bro, if, dog, that's one of my dreams, bro. To put, at the same time, it's not, but it's like, that's a dream to fucking perform at the Super Bowl. Like, the, and you're going to tell me just because of this nigga, Colin Kaepernick, who's sponsored by Nike, who makes, Nike, who makes uniforms for fucking... For both teams, nigga, not even teams in, like, the game, but I'm saying the NFL and the protesters. Like, nigga, they wearing Nike shoes, and these niggas, like, nigga, and you want Travis Scott, and this nigga sponsored by Nike, and you want this nigga to not perform? Like, bro, bro, this nigga's about to ride a roller coaster through this bitch. I'm so curious to see what the fuck he does, bro. You got Maroon 5, bro, the most, and you no one saying shit about Maroon 5. I mean, maybe they are. I don't watch the news, but, um. Nigga, but Maroon 5, come on, man. I wish Cardi would have done it, honestly. I love Travis Scott, but Cardi would have fucked that shit. Would have been, I like it like that. But I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And she still got a Super Bowl commercial. That shit don't make sense. All that shit does not make sense, bro. Uh, I don't get it. It's like, I understand how you could feel. But then go make your own football league, bro. And then go watch that. That's the only way you win. I mean, that's just, the, that's just how the world is, bro. Just don't participate and watch it. And just like you probably wouldn't have done anyway. I mean, certain people like me who probably love football, it didn't matter. I'm going to watch it anyway. Um, again, you know, it's just that was that was just very weird to me on an overall basis, just hearing that constantly in your feed and social media. And it's just like, yo, like, dude, this dude has a, had a great year. He's Grammy nominated. Uh, he's, you know, he's been through a lot. This is finally his moment and people want to kind of fuck it up, bro. Like, and I think that's not cool, bro. We got to look at that at a, you don't know how he feels and any way he, uh, responds or anything, it ain't right. And I, and a lot of artists, a lot of artists who fuck it, y'all didn't get asked to go to the Super Bowl. That's why I think it's kind of way weird. They're talking about, oh, it's Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon. No one's asking you to perform. No, don't even come to the Super Bowl, bro. Like what? Like, that shit is just silly, bro. Like, uh, I understand how people feel, and I'm not trying to be, like, I just don't understand, like, people putting energy and emotions into certain, you know, into certain places. Uh, man, I'm not even hitting this. Bro, it's still smoking. But, yeah, that shit just doesn't make sense to me. Um, of how you can put time and energy into things like that. Bro, it's a fucking football game, bro. Men are... Te Why are we put, Bro, who cares what these guys think? Bro, they all... Bro, my dad played professional football, bro. These guys are... Like, bro, smart... Bro, come on, bro. They, these men tackle each other, bro. <laughs> Why is this such a... Th like, just... Like, what? Bro, I think people take themselves way too serious. And, um... I understand there's a lot because it like it represents so much, but I'm like, bro, we put so much into like these athletes, entertainers. It's just like it's ridiculous. I don't, I don't get it. I do because it's just like we we idol them, and but it's just like there has to be that line where you're like, hey, bro, you're just a regular. But I don't think a lot of people realize that we're all just regular ass people, you know. So it's interesting. Um, I'm just curious to see what happens and unfolds. Usually, I don't have opinions on things like that. Uh, 
Like, I do, but I just keep them to myself. But with this podcast, hey. And niggas, I'm for real. I'm for real about this. This shit's about to go down every motherfucking week. I'm about to watch, watch, like, a few months later. Like, oh, shit, this ain't even on his phone no more. Oh, shit, he's editing it now? Like, it's kind of funny. Just talking and then talking about... So, every week, every week, or last time... So, I'm going to post this on uh, Instagram TV... Uh, and I'm just going to do it from there for a while until I get off my phone and into a regular camera. Um, but that's just time, money, effort, you know, and that's on me. But uh, eventually it's going to happen. And I know it's going to happen because I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make sure as long as I do this shit every week, it will motivate me to make this a, more of a production. But right now I, don't, I got music. I got fucking shit, other shit I'm trying to write. But I think this is a good tool to help all these other things I want to do and help me uh, promote it and also just work at a craft. And this could be just another thing. But, um, yeah, so every week I'm going to be talking about Stockton music. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the weed. And so it's Smoked Out Sessions. First thing I'm going to do is talk about uh, Smoked Out Sessions is going to be about the weed. And then it's going to be about the motherfucking music in Stockton. And that's the first thing, at least five minutes or something about what came out, what I have an opinion about, uh, update you about Rebel Activity. That is my group with Yuck Nasty, Dialect, Braxy. Those people, uh, and there's more people, you know, who help than you would think. Uh, and that's and that's what's, you know, that's the drive behind that because I want to let this shit out. And, uh, nigga, you know, I'm pretty, uh, oh, I'm pretty, but I'm pretty good at talking too. <laughs> Who can you can do a podcast unless you're into yourself, bro? Like that's so weird. I'm in a car talking to myself. That's stupid. But <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a few people who reached out to uh, and they want to be guests. So on certain topics, uh, so I'm gonna have a topic too. Also, so after the weed and then the st- music in Stockton, something relevant. One thing that's relevant uh, about fucking. Um, uh, relevant about society. Like so, today I did I'm Super Bowl Sunday. Talked about my weekend. <laughs> bro, music, that was a controversial topic and or something to have a conversation about uh, with myself to y'all, if anyone... Are you listening to me? Is anyone... Is anyone... Are you listening? Alright, so anyway... Um, yeah, so that is a controversial topic. Next week, we talk about love because it's about to be motherfucking Valentine's Day. So this week we talked about this controversial Super Bowl tip uh, song with Travis Scott. I can't wait to that shit though. Honestly, Maroon Five and Travis. If you don't like both of those guys, I mean, they're, they're just performers. They're, they, the thing is about performing in the Super Bowl, you are recognized as a universal, or you could just say America. But there's other people who watch that shit. I mean, fucking last year I watched that shit. Uh, Justin Timberlake was, per- and he did it in Minnesota and did a Prince song. Very, I was like very scared that he did that because I was like, this could go really bad, bro. <laughs> you know how many people love Prince, bro? But uh, but I was watching that shit in Canada, bro, at a bar, and everybody knew who fuck Justin Timberlake was there. It was not there was they, it was not no one was confused of who was the people know who the fuck that. So you got to pick a universally people of who just we know is good. And for them to pick Travis Scott, I know there's a lot of people who fucking belted out or whatever because he wasn't the first choice, but he's on that, like, for him, like, that's a cool-ass moment of just, uh, um, validation. You know what I mean? Like, this is history, bro. When you go look back, you know what I mean? They'll be like, remember when Travis Scott rolled through that roller coaster in the Super Bowl, nigga? <laughs> and Maroon 5 was in the background, nigga? <laughs> She was dope, nigga. And yeah, bro, I'm trying to keep this shit uh, fucking 20 minutes la- the max, bro. I'm not doing no long-ass podcast, hour podcast, bro. The people got shit to do. We ain't trying to talk to phones and cameras all day, nigga. I mean, shit, fuck that, bro. But like 20 minutes is a good, like, mark. 20, 30 minutes would be like the ma- Or like, keep it around 20 minutes. Keep it going, you know, especially with guests. Um... But, yeah, if you want to go ahead and just give me out any ideas or anything, I know it just probably at first it would just be a few friends or not even, or just random people, uh, suggestions, you know what I mean? Uh, or just any feedback, that's cool. But I'm going to do this every week, and I think after, like, you know, a year, if I do this for a whole year, that would be kind of crazy to look back at the footage and see... Uh, so that's why I'm not even worried about it right now. I'm more worried about being consistent so when I get to the future and look back at this shit, I can be like, bro, I got better at this shit. Because the same shit happened with me with music. Same thing happens with fucking uh, 
anything, bro. You just got the more consistent I fucking rap every fucking week and make sure make it a point. That shit is ridiculous, getting better. And at first, when you don't do that and you just do it in spurts, it's cool. But no one's that good yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, some people are or whatever, but at least I know I'm not. You know what I mean? So doing that shit like every week, like, like not just for play, play. You know, for real, real. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Um, I was supposed to go to church today, didn't, uh, with my mama. It was raining too much. I never go. Um, I'm trying to think of other shit, because I'm going next week. She said we're going next week, and I'm curious about that. I haven't been in years, and, you know, maybe a topic, the next one after the love one could be religion, you know what I mean, or some shit like that, like, just, I don't know, just shit like that, but I'm trying to make it, like, not too serious, you know, but, like, definitely wants you to think, at least think a little bit, I mean, I want the viewer and people to think a little bit, like I said, like, the, like, look at my perspective, if I was Travis Scott, like, you're thinking about that topic, I mean, I'm just one marker for you, or, like, whoever it could be, you know what I'm saying, and I think that's fucking important, bro. And that's racism. That racism, that's how I deal with it. Nigga. Live with my life, how I feel that anyone who is racist saw me would be, not want to be racist anymore because I'm so cool, bro. And I know those people aren't logical, but hey, you know what? My coolness is illogical. <laughs> um, but, bro, yeah. Um, smoke weed, smoked out sessions. We had 16, 20. That's a great marker. Uh, IGTV, the goal on that shit is to, uh, fucking, um, on IGTV to fucking, niggas gonna be saying like, oh, nigga, he's copying Be Real Smoke, I ain't doing this shit in the car every time, bro, <laughs> I just like, I'm like, looking at him, I'm like, man, this shit looks like Be Real shit smoked out my car, like, psh, I don't even do that all like that, but anyway, uh, I don't know what the fuck I was talking about, that's why I want guests, bro, so they can fucking fill in, and I got a few of my homies, I'm gonna do that shit, pick topics that's good for them and things they can go in. And then also they can introduce themselves, you know? Uh, I don't know. It's, I'm curious to uh, promote, like, Stockton. So if you're, like, a Stockton rapper or a talent or whatever, I definitely want to interview you, have a back and forth, uh, try to promote your music or anything like that. I feel like this is just, like, a service I should do. I'm pretty good. I just need to get, like, more production. But, again, uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how it comes out. But any Stockton artist want to have a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, talk about a conversation, you know what I mean, or whatever, uh, I'm more than likely to do it, uh, reach out. But I'm definitely going to do the Rebel activity first whenever they're comfortable and ready. Because <laughs> they could, I don't know. I know a couple, you know what I mean? Uh, Rebel Activity, nigga, to infinity. And that's a cool one to end on, bro. Champ, champ, bro. Fuck it. Let's go, motherfucking Tom Gurley, bro. I'm Brandon Cooks, nigga. Brandon Cooks, nigga. What the fuck, nigga? Stockton, bro. Stock there, bro! <laughs>